If you could walk on the water If you could hop scotch on the trees If you could fly the world in Hi there. So I'm still at the Mary Hill High School. Did you notice I introduced it properly? And it's because I needed a chance to speak to Akili Dada because um, the students I have spoken to were able to get down to what they needed to do to be RISE champions and winners. 2022, that's a cohort I'm looking at because it was supported by Akili Dada. So, of course, naturally, Maureen Acheng, welcome. She's the program lead at Akili Dada. So, obviously, you can imagine for me, when I was approached, I said, who are those? So I Googled, and then, and then they started listing their partners. And I was like, I know these people. That's why I said yes. That's why I said yes. Yeah. So my question for you, how did Rice find you? Wow. Because you didn't find Rice. They found Akili Dada. Yes. So Rice and us and Akili Dada is a part of a network, uh, network of organizations that are just focused on ensuring that we bring opportunity to high achieving low income students. So that is where we really you, you merge. Yes. All right. Because our vision is to ensure that we provide opportunity for leaders in the communities that we serve in. So that is where we came in. Uh, we came to know about RISE uh -huh. and of course went through the actual, the, the traditional, and it's called the traditional so no. formal way of doing application. So we give our proposal on why we look at ourselves as a okay. very good partner for them to reach out to the cohort that they are looking out for and to offer that opportunity through us. Right, now I'm interested. So finally, Rise and Akili Dada are in alignment. But the, the task is to identify brilliant young people between the age of 15 and 17 who are not just interested in making a change in the communities they serve, the country they serve, the world. Mm -hmm. But these people are all in high school. Yes. And in Kenya, greatly in boarding school. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How did you go about it? Well, we have a wonderful strategy as a Kili Dada. Mm -hmm. We work with partner schools. Mary Hill was, the is Mary Hill is one of our partner okay. schools. In our previous strategic uh, plan, we were working in uh, Kiambu and Nairobi counties, and this was one of the schools that we were working with. So what we were doing is that we look out for brilliant students who are not able, who are financially dis disadvantaged in terms of paying for their school fees. So we run a scholarship, a four year scholarship program. That's how we landed at Mary Hill. But now again, we also have other partners. So in this current dispensation, we work in the ASOL regions. So we oh. have partner schools in Samburu, in Turkana, in Kilifi, and also in Kwale. So because of our network of schools, then that is how we are able to get the Rise Challenge opportunity out there. You know, you were speaking, I was like, wait, 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 wait. I heard the girls from Mary Hill talking about just the application process submissions, and I could tell they, they had some challenges. Mm -hmm. True. So what does that look like for a girl in, in a school in Samburu? You can imagine. So in the previous cycle, our biggest challenge was the, the, tech. the, the tech, the tech divide. Because you see, at least here they have the labs, they have teachers who are willing to really run, uh, run around with them. But then again, we also learned a lesson from the previous cycle because you have to do it online and on an app. So they really need to have someone and to have a gadget. So what our learnings, uh, the changes that our learnings brought is that in this third cycle, now we have an online form of application. Actually, I was gonna, when the girls mentioned an app, I was like, I've been pushing a link. Yes. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why it's online now. That we have both online and, and, and the app. Yes. However, uh -huh. but the offline one will really need to have to um, to bring it out only for those people who are really not really able to get access to the internet. But then what we did for the previous cycle is that we have uh, staff going on to the ground. Yes. So we pitch tents in the in the schools. Because the girls said you guys, you Mulikuja, with your laptop, routers, your routers, yeah, yeah, yes. yes, we are bringing access. Actually, that's the right word, bringing access to the girls in their schools. So you have someone sitting down with them, walking with them through the application as they feel it, they finish, tap, applied, next, 
get the other person and do the same thing. So right now what we around the country. Exactly. I have a headache here. Yeah, but, but now <laughs> the, the great thing is that now we work with partner school. So it's easier okay. because we already have rapport and they are already organized, but then also working with our social media handles to be able to send out that those links because they're those who will access like you said they first saw it on the yes, instagram on but then again they thought they've missed that opportunity then thank god for akili dada and the partnership with the school now they get to apply it through us Okay, I'm not quite sure how long Rise will be with me, but you can get your teenagers to follow me. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Mm. I'm good. I'm not bad for you at all. So tell me this. This was your pilot, yes. 2022. The cohort of 2022 was your pilot. Yes. How many applications from Kenya? First and foremost, what I'm sure you guys at Akili Dada set yourself a target. Mm -hmm. Of uh -huh. course. Of course, we had a target of 500 in the last cycle. Uh -huh. And uh, we have... Out of the five, we, we have five global winners from yes. Kenya. I know, that is ridiculous. That's what I was going to get to. So did you actually meet your target? Did you get 500 applications from yes, Kenya? Yes, yes, yes. Well we, we, we got our targets. Mm -hmm. But then again, because of the longevity of that process, yes. and it's tiring. Some, some fell off. Some fell off, of okay. course, because it was, uh, it was organized in such a way that you go step by step. So yes. you finish stage one, you go to stage two. two. And yeah. so, of course, with that, you get people Yeah, there are people who fall off and the academic calendar of yes. course it uh hits there's, mm. there's, there's that clash. which is why it's nice if we start them at 15 exactly. because by the time you're 17 you're in in form three yes you're which almost, means you're almost in form four so you've been told you know you're a candidate next year and other than that mm -hmm. you see the education system the way covid came it, and yeah, shook, it, it everything. shook everything so up. even the uh, the period that you're oh, off yeah. of school is of just school. a week or two weeks or really so this time I think it, it is going to We're work gonna really do well because well. it's already open. Yes, and it closes on twenty fifth of January. January. We Which have means a we can whole use of December. A whole of December. Yes. In fact, if you don't have a candidate, and candidates are almost eighteen, mm -hmm. if you got somebody who's in form two, form three, actually form one, form they two, form time. three, they have time. Yeah, and and we we also have think sheets for this uh, sort of third round cycle. Oh, really? Yes, you have a think sheet that we, you can we will actually we'll send to those schools that will be doing the offline applications or even the online we can send them mm -hmm. and then they read through so that before you get to your machine if you're going yes. to do the online yes you've already thought about what you're going to respond to you know the answers you've documented somewhere mm -hmm. so you're on to it you don't take forever on the internet oh, wow. with the difficulties wow. and stuff like that and same applies for the offline applications uh -huh. once they have already read they know what they need to input mm -hmm. they will do their applications on paper mm -hmm. we'll also again take that initiative to receive the applications back do the scanning for rise and upload them for them do you know what i'm going to do mm -hmm. just for fun mm -hmm. my daughter's going to be 12 we're going to try and apply exactly. so she can hear what the process is like because mm -hmm. you know i've already told you mm -hmm. three years i know Ako. my daughter is also 12. okay so i was still, i was talking to her in the morning uh -huh. and she was like you're going for an interview i'm like with yes with carol mutoko do you know uh -huh. i know i said go check uh -huh. and i'm like in three years yes you are applying for get eyes, prepared. get prepared. Yes. So, I mean, and, and, and remember, the reason I need to have a conversation with you is that they are, the young people get it. Mm -hmm. They get it. Yes. But remember, they all need support. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the school needs to get behind them. Akili Dada is there mm -hmm. to support them. Mm -hmm. Their parents also need to get behind them. Exactly. And I need you to tell me, mm -hmm. on behalf of parents and teachers listening, why is this unique and important? Mm -hmm. Um everyone has a everyone has their own kind of brilliance, brilliance. brilliant mm -hmm. opportunities are there mm -hmm. but not open to everyone yes and not everyone can have access to them no. so if you get to know about this opportunity you have a learner you have a daughter mm -hmm. you have a son mm -hmm. then this is a good way for you to really contribute to their life so that they are able to achieve their full potential mm -hmm. rise is unique in that it will work with you throughout your lifetime. Yes. It's not that it will sort you your high school or university and then leave you there I figuring know. out this is what for next. life. It is for life. So it is giving this learner an opportunity to really spread their wings. They will do what they want to do. They will achieve what they want to achieve. But then again, just taking advantage of that mind that is very young, mm -hmm. that is very ripe with a bright and interesting See, ideas. But and also, I've jaded. Exactly. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, even as I spoke um, to these um, winners, because it reminded me, we are globe, we are global rise winners, yes. cohort of 2022. Hmm. I realized they believe they can. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's very important. And just in case, you know, one thought, so it was like, Caroline, how come you're only targeting 15 to 17 year olds? There is a, a can do mm -hmm. about them mm -hmm. that is important. Mm -hmm. And I, I appreciate that Rice says, and now that I got you, I got you for life. Exactly. I will walk through the changes you want to make mm -hmm. and how you want to serve the world mm -hmm. until you fall off the globe. Mm -hmm. And, and, and this is for the parents and the teachers as well who are like, Rais cannot uh, near the age. Let me tell you something. By the time you finish high school and you get into college, the world begins to jade you sadly mm -hmm. by the time you're in second year in college. Yes. And the reason I know this is that you are the people who said you will not vote. Mm -hmm. um, the girls and the students I have met will. Mm -hmm. Because for them, they would rather be engaged than not. True but they don't believe in sitting out. Mm -hmm. And it's still your choice, you mm -hmm. can do it. But that's who you are. Mm -hmm. You protest differently. Mm -hmm. You protest. There's, there's a generation that will always make noise and it's important because they will bring the issues to the surface, mm -hmm. but they will never act. True. Yeah. And I, I, I love what Rise is doing. You must be so happy you're working mm -hmm. with these people because it's not just that they're very clear that they want the brilliance mm -hmm. of these young minds and mm -hmm. their energy mm -hmm. and their belief because also your energy goes where you send it. Exactly. But also that they have got them for life. For life. And then also I really want to tell you why we exist. Uh -huh. We are intentional mm -hmm. about creating transformative, uh, I mean, building up transformative leaders. Mm -hmm. we, we envision a world where we have young girls and young women taking up active uh, decision-making spaces mm -hmm. and leadership spaces. Mm -hmm. And for us, for you to be a leader, it must be intentional. You must be given that opportunity to lead, which yes. is what Rice is doing, yes. giving these young girls mm -hmm. an girls and even and boys, boys yes. an opportunity to be a leader in their own areas where they see there's a challenge and they come up with their own solutions. Solutions, yes. So definitely, this is a good thing for uh, for even parents to give their children that opportunity, just given that internet, because you need to have an email address. How yes. will you get your results? That How do you get successful? your congratulations letter? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we are intentional about it. And therefore, parents also need to be intentional about it. Let's not just uh, speak about, or even teachers, mm. we want uh, uh, future leaders. Leaders, we want future, future leaders. Enable them. Yes. Enable them. So that's why it's a great platform. I always tell young people, it's important to get involved in stuff like this because nothing mm -hmm. should ever be about you without you. Nobody should ever come up with a project, mm -hmm. an idea, I don't know, a something, say we call it for youth. Mm -hmm. Nothing for you without you. Exactly. You've got to be in the room. Yeah. And when you were talking about why you exist as a Kili Dada, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard me say this line mm -hmm. and you've always known that's our line as a Kili Dada. You How know? does she know it? Uh -huh. And it's when I always say I am my grandmother's wildest dream. Exactly. That was an Akili Dada campaign. Yes. So I learned that one of the things that Akili Dada does as it grooms, actually you find them, mm -hmm. groom them, exactly. enable them to be mm -hmm. leaders, mm -hmm. is so that they can live a world and a life that is larger than where they are. Mm -hmm. And that's why I know you work with marginalized girls. Literally give them that opportunity to lead. When you look at our program, yes. it's led by the young girls. Completely. And do you know our retirement age? Tell me. 38. You get to 38, please transition. See give you. the younger ones opportunity wow. to lead. It's intentionality. I love it. Yes. I love it. Um, so if in case you're wondering, I've never heard of Rise. I don't know who Eric and Wendy Schmidt are. I don't mm -hmm. know who Schmidt Futures are. By the way, you need to look at the website and I will put that link here mm -hmm. because I love the fact that as a futures company, they're betting on the future. Exactly. And they're betting on the future by putting their money mm -hmm. behind the very people who can change mm -hmm. the world. Exactly. So um, if you're wondering, you don't know who all those people are. I think the reason Akili Dada exists is to bridge that whole global feel of you're not sure to, mm -hmm. oh, we know these people. Yes. They're here, they're in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, um, actually, they can also get the links on all our handles. On all you your go handles. go to Akili Dada. You can find yeah, the links. Facebook, yes. LinkedIn, You don't Twitter. have to be with me. Yes, you right. get it. 
Mm. I just want to say, I hope that, so what's your target of applications this year? 700. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Let's go, people. Yes. You've seen what it means. You understand. Um, and there's nothing to lose. Nothing. Nothing. If, nothing. if there's one thing Edith said, is um, Edith is a, a 2022 cohort global winner. She said it changes how you see yourself, how you see life. Exactly. Just the application process. You begin traveling the world. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Mm. So I just, I wanted you to see Akili Dada because I'm sure every time I put a link, you look mm. and my videos have cutaways of Eric and Wendy Schmidt and you're like, mm. Mm. who are those? Mm -hmm. And then you have Maureen Acheng. One of our own. Yes, one of our own. And she will, she's happy to take a phone call and tell you, in fact, I know you as headmistresses and teachers, you'll be like, mm -hmm. we'll put a phone number here. Yes. Okay, we will. Then you can call and say, mm -hmm. and we'll take it from there. Apply because our entries close January 25th. Yes. So, I mean, I'd like you to start now so yeah. you can work on it over mm -hmm. the holidays mm -hmm. and probably only bang it together when you go back to school in January yes. because January 25th is Nihapatu. True, true. Nihapatu. True, true. Okay. Follow me and please apply for RISE.